This is Jeff Crosby with the Central District Fishing Report. District Lake temperatures are running in the mid to upper 70s. Black bass fishing across the district is very good, especially at Taylorsville, Harrington, Gist Creek, and at several of the small state on lakes such as Elmer and Beaver Lakes. Currently, points seem to be the biggest magnet for bass right now, especially points that are in close proximity to creek channels. Crank baits, spinner baits are currently productive baits, but plastic baits have been productive as well, fished around shoreline cover in six to eight feet of water. Also at Taylorsville Lake, channel and blue catfish are being caught using cut shad in about six to 18 feet of water. Channel catfish are being caught on the flats where blue cats are more associated to the river or creek channels. So good luck, good fishing, and hope to see you on the water. This is Rob Rold in the Northwestern Fishery District. At Nolan Lake, Anglers have been catching a lot of hand-sized bluegill by fishing the upper ends of some of the coves, especially those with gravel or sandy bottoms, and uh, look for overhanging trees there as well as the bluegill make their beds below them. At Rough River Lake, anglers are starting to pick up some hybrid striped bass by trolling, and they're trolling the areas of the upper South Fork around uh, Panther Creek uh, on down to Mid Lake. Bluegill are hot at most of our small impoundments in the district. Carpenter Lakes is especially good. Mosey Lakes is doing especially well, as are most of the pits on Peabody Wildlife Management Area. And look for overhanging branches and vegetation, and both species like to build their nests in these secluded spots. That's an update for the Northwestern Fishery District. Please remember, be safe on the water and wear your life jacket. In western Kentucky, down at Kentucky and Barker Lakes, it's still good fishing. They're catching bass out on the ledges using crankbaits and plastic worms. All still catching some bass up shallow around woody habitat, woody structure around boat docks with spinnerbaits and, again, plastic worms and lizards. Bluegill fishing is really hot right now. Hopefully we'll see some willow fly hatches coming up here pretty soon. But fishing up around the shoreline and steep drop-offs, whether there's some rocky shoreline, always good for them bluegill. Catfish out on the main river channel, blues are especially good uh, going into the summer months. And then crappie, a few crappie still being caught, it's kind of slowed down, but if you fish out there on the ledges with some minnows or jigs, you ought to be able to get you back into some crappie. Well, this is Paul Reister, and I hope you find you a good day to go fishing.